Hello everyone, welcome again and today I am going to show you demonstration of another JSPN servlet project. And, uh, this is again a Java project and it's using JSPN servlet. So to manage the backend in the controller section it's using servlet. And to manage the frontend it's using JSP, HTML, CSS and uh, bootstrap. Things are there and to deploy it's uh, using Tomcat server, it's a local host. And to manage the backend it's using database. So uh, I'm using MySQL Workbench interface over here. So you will get this much tables are there. If you want to view the data of any table, just right click on it. Select the first option. You will view the data. You can view the data of here. Uh, all the pictures. So available data into the database. So now if you want the source code from code one, you can connect us over the WhatsApp, Skype, or email, and we'll give you the complete information, price, and uh, the services that we are providing. And after the configuration by the remote team by us, you will get the source code in this condition. Now you need to follow this demo in order to execute the application. So uh, just go to your Eclipse, right click on the root folder of the project, go to run as, run on server, select the server, click on next click on finish automatically server will start and it will launch your application over your chrome browser and after that uh, after that you will get this kind of interface over here and this is a project order a product and order management project so now let's uh, move to the database and understand the user role so there are two types of user role role id one always will be for the admin and other user will be over there that is going to work as a an user or a customer so uh, when you run the application you will get this kind of interface where you where you will get the home page on the home page all the listed project will be over there when user will click on the add card to card it will post to login or register to the user again we have a categories option over here so user can uh, categorize or filter the product according to the categories uh, contact us pages over there and uh, search option is there if user want user can search the product from here so let's suppose i'm going to search this product so when click the product and search it will be filtered accordingly and again i go to the product and um, a registration option is there so new new customer is can register from here and like the see customer login from here so first i'm going to log in as an admin and check what admin can do over there then we'll move to the customer section and see what customer can do over here so i just enter credential for the admin and here after login you will get this and here as an admin i have an option to add another admin and i have an option to add the categories so currently we have three categories which category one and cosmetic so i'm going to add another category over there so for demonstration so i just say new category and i'm going to just select the image uh, you can select any image so i'm just uh, going to use a random image over there and i just hit the description click on save and the data is saved successfully now when i view the categories you will see the option the categories added here with option delete and edit but you see the image is not showing over here so just you can give it a refresh because uh, it's storing into a local database and sometimes it will take time to load until if you are not getting the images over there you can give it just a simple refresh right click on the project give it a refresh and when you refresh the project it will display over there okay, so image is coming over there and now uh, what we can do with this we can edit the category we can delete the category while we are editing uh, you need to let's suppose uh, this is edited description so what i need to do i need to upload the image again and because it's a mandatory field over there and categories will be displayed now here and the description is edited if i want delete it i can delete any category by clicking or just clicking on this delete button also next we have product section in the product section we can uh, add uh, products in a similar manner so to add the product just go to the product click to add new product select the category from here so i'm going to just choose a new category that we have just added and the product name so i just say new product and price is equals 5000 and choose an image so i'm going to choose another image over here i just choose this image i just added a description click on save once data is saved over there uh, the product will be displayed here and just 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 leave it like this after some time it will display that uh, image over here that's not an issue or if you want to force display over here you can just give it a refresh and it will be displayed the images 
Here we have an order history. So here we can manage the orders. The customer who is going to order the product, the uh, things and the detail of the customer will be displayed here. Contact us page is there for if someone is going to submit a request from the contact us page, the request will be displayed over here. And my profile section and log. Now let's view a product and register as a new user and buy a product. How can we buy the product? So let's suppose I'm a new customer. I'm going to add a uh, add a uh, to card i'm trying to add to card some product uh, let's say i need to add to card and it will ask me to log in or sign up if i'm an existing user i can log in over there if i'm not an existing user i can register to register i need to fill up some details so i just enter first name last name and demo user at the rate gmail.com i'm going to enter the login id the password should be demo at the rate 23 and i'm going to repeat the password again demo at the rate 23 D will be capital, there will be a combination. So I want to give you a combination, however, will be a combination. So it should be demo at the rate 23 like this. Now uh, you can give it as D at the rate 23, at the rate 4 power 6, something like that. And the email address, so I'm going to copy the same email address again. The mobile number 10 digit mobile number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. shipping address, billing address, and sign up. The user is registered successfully now. If I refresh my database table, I can select the record <coughs> with this detail. And now I'm going to log in with this user and see what this user can do. So I just enter the username and the password, and I just hit the login button over here. And uh, again, it's showing me the all the product details. When I click to add to cart, the product will be added in my cart section here. And uh, after that, uh, from the card section, uh, it's showing me a price like this and the shipping charges. So total price is like this. And when I update the quantity, I can update the quantity. And it's updated. The price is already updated. If I want to delete any product, I can delete it. If I want to view the product, I can view it from here. Again, I move to my card section, go to checkout and click on submit. I enter <coughs> my card detail, card full name card numbers this is a dummy payment gateway so it's not a real payment gateway so it's a, it's a, it's a simple dummy payment gateway so we, we are using for the demonstration so payment is done successfully this is my product details and the checkout details and if i go my history i can check the new details over here that is the app that just booked and this is my contact page if i want to give a contact request to anyone i can give it to give it to admin okay this is my profile again and log out so that's all about the product order management uh, system in JSP and Server in Java. If you need the source code, you can connect us over the WhatsApp, Gmail, or Skype, and don't worry about the configuration setup. We have a remote team that's going to help us to you to connect with uh, uh, any desk or Zoom, and they will set up the project at your machine, and we will make sure after configuration the project should be work same as always in this demo. Thank you.